Bro, we have gigantic news today. Yes, right. What's up? All oh, right. What is going on, everybody? How? Oh, y'all doing? We have some big, big, big PS5 news today. But first, give the video a thumbs up. We are doing the giveaway. My PS5 digital console should be coming in the mail today, but I'm giving away a disc version for you all. Make sure you're subscribed right here on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter. Let's get to the news. Sony has officially announced m.2 ssd expansion who we're finally going to be able to expand our ps5s but there are some caveats it's going to be a slow and gradual rollout starting first with if you signed up for their system software beta and so um, it's a beta program where you all are pretty much testing stuff out before it goes to the mass market and so um, this is on their official support page uh, the beta the m.2 ssd ps5 console edition you can finally expand your ps5 but um, it's, it's going to be, um, it says this feature is only available to beta users at this time. The internal M.2 SSD expansion feature will be enabled via an upcoming PS5 system software update. So an upcoming PS5 system software update will be rolling out to beta testers. Now, I'm going to share my thoughts on all of this. Uh, there's a sign up for the PS4, uh, the beta program. You can add up to four terabytes. I, see, I, I saw it. Um, it goes from 250 gigabytes all the way up to four terabytes, which is crazy. I'm going to end up just biting the bullet, get the four terabyte one time and be done. I don't want to have to keep um, buying um, SSDs, deleting all this. But the crazy thing is... The steps are the steps. <laughs> They're a total of 12 steps that you're going to have to take um, to install it. You're going to need uh, your SSD card. They say a well-lit room, a screwdriver. You're pretty much going to be doing surgery on your PS5. Now, I have to say, Xbox's solution, a hundred times better. You pretty much just plug in the SSD expansion and you're done. But I think right now the Xbox is limited to just one terabyte. So Sony does have that advantage where you can get up to four terabytes. But I already started looking on Amazon for four terabyte SSD car, um, M.2 cards over $400, bro. So you're going to cash out. You're going to spend some cash to do it. Here's my thoughts. Sony still hasn't given us a definitive list of confirmed uh, M.2. What they've done is they just given us the specifications and then you're gonna have to do your own research. It is a little daunting to just a casual user. <laughs> you gotta read and make sure it has the, the correct, the minimum speed and all this, all these, the size, all this other stuff they talked about. If the M.2 doesn't come with a heat sink, you gotta buy your own heat sink, all this stuff. It can be a lot so you got to really read up do your research i think this is what sony is going to do after the beta program they're going to just give us a list and we can choose from that list that's what i'm waiting for i'm really i am i there's no way in the world i put the m.2 in my ps5 during a during a test it's too much money to be testing bro 470 480 dollars and it can melt my SSD 
and Sony's not liable because they have a disclaimer saying that it's, we're not guaranteeing that this is going to work. No way, Jose, bro. I'm going to wait for them to have an official list where I can get some, um, some, some, some more confidence or reassurance that I'm not going to just waste my money. Once they come out with an official list, I'm going to probably just buy four terabyte, one and done. In my Switch, I have a one terabyte micro SD card in my Switch. I spent like 400 something dollars, but it was worth it because I've never had to like delete, remove, delete, remove games, add games. It's, it's just so I just want to put in my games. When I'm done platinuming a game, then I'll delete it. But M.2 um, SSD expansion is available. You can um um look at all the specs and all the information on how to do it at playstation support page um, but it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot but it's still lit we're finally getting expansion for our ps fives bruh next news item also huge and i'm sorta i'm low-key good give me a little bit more time to do one thing and then i'll share in a second but Kena Bridge of Spirits has been delayed again. The game was originally delayed to August. Now it's going to be delayed for just one more month, though, to September. The new launch date is September 21st. And this is the official um, press release from Ember Labs. We have made the difficult decision to delay the release of Kena until September 21st to polish the game across all platforms. Going to be launching on the PS5, PS4, and PC. <laughs> the team has been working extremely hard, and we feel the extra time is critical to ensure the best experience possible. We know many of you are eager to play, and we appreciate your patience as the team continues to work on delivering the best version of Kena. Thank you for your amazing support. And I'm like, it's just one month. Polish the game so we have a great gaming experience. The game already looks phenomenal, and so I can't wait, can't wait to play this game. It gives me a little bit more time. Currently doing a platinum run in Demon Souls, trying to platinum Demon Souls. I've already beaten the game on my PS5, so Demon Soul Remastered Platinum. That's what I'm working on right now. Now, one more news item, which is pretty dope. The PlayStation 5 has officially launched in China, and this could be huge for Sony. They this check out what um Jim Ryan, the head of PlayStation, is saying about the launch in China. We made a lot of noise at launch, allocating a good amount of stock, and it blew through very, very quickly. Same sort of energy that we see in the West. It's early days yet, but we're encouraged by that. And so they're saying the PS5 is off to a crazy start in China. Now, interesting to see how Xbox is going to do also in China. We know typically in the East, um, Sony um, dominates, but it's a whole new ball game, uncharted territory. We don't know what's going to happen in China, but I have a feeling uh, PlayStation will probably outsell Xbox in China just because uh, of the market and most of the games, the Eastern uh, um, J JRPGs and stuff like that tend to do better on PlayStation than um, Xbox. All right, dudes, those are all the news items for this video. Um, are you going to be picking up an M.2? I'm going to wait, bro. Um, it's too much money to um, shell everything out just because, oh, it's in beta. Let me spend $500 for my thing to melt. I'm gonna wait until Sony gives us an official list. Uh, my kids wanna come in to do the outro, so I'll let them come in. Oh, they're gone. All right. No, he's not, he's here. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I wanna know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. Oh, things gaming, bro. We out. Peace.